All right, everyone, I've got some news on Vega and what looks to be the upcoming Intel Coffee Lake. So stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to GamerMeld. Before I begin, don't forget to check out the GamerMeld Discord server. It's a great place for lovers of tech and hardware to talk and hang out. Check that out in the description below. Now on to the news. I know this doesn't give us much information, but I thought it was important enough to go over. Plus, I know tons of you are aching for Vega news. So, MSI's marketing director posted this at Tweakers forums. According to video cards, it translates into, and I quote, I've seen the specs of Vega RX. It needs a damn lot of power. We're working on it. Which is the start, so launch is coming soon. Smiley face. And the smiley face is universal, mind you. So, as you can see, it's not much to go off of, but I'll focus on the power aspect of it. It can mean a couple things. The GPU is incredibly power inefficient, or it's really, really powerful. I honestly have a feeling it's a mix of both. They could be working really hard at overclocking it to beat out the 1080 Ti, which ultimately makes it draw more power thanks to the diminishing returns of overclocking. Either way, it's nothing but pure speculation at this point. At least it's good to hear the wait isn't going to be too much longer. Next up is what appears to be a Coffee Lake engineering sample. It originally came from the SciSoft database and was reported by WCCF Tech. For those who don't know, Coffee Lake is the iterational upgrade to Intel's KB Lake by running on a more optimized 14 nanometer architecture. As past rumors seem to point to, the newest processor may go up to 6 cores and 12 threads which is what's shown here. Now, WCCF Tech words it as if it's a guarantee that Coffee Lake will support six cores, but I don't think Intel has confirmed anything like that as of yet. Either way, in the database, it shows a CPU to be on the Kaby Lake platform, so no, it's not necessarily a guarantee it's Coffee Lake, but there's at least a chance that it's an engineering sample. It has a CPU at a base clock of 3.1 gigahertz and a boost of 4.2. What's weird is that a couple outlets reporting on this give it nine megabytes of L3 cache, but you can see here that it's sporting 12 megabytes. I'm assuming they're all mostly copying one another, or I really could be missing something. I'm not sure. I'm not trying to call anyone out or anything like that. Either way, we can move down here and see that there's one that was done yesterday and actually runs the name Coffee Lake and Canyon Lake platform that has 9 megabytes of L3 cache as well as 12 threads, but is running at 2.6 gigahertz. Really, until Intel officially announces anything, there's no guarantees. I will say that it does at least seem pretty likely they're going to be releasing a 6-core CPU into their mainstream platform. That's, of course, a little ironic considering they released a 4-core 4-thread CPU in their enthusiast platform, but oh well, we've discussed that. So what do you think about that move by Intel? Ready to come up in cores? Is 6 cores going to be enough to top Horizon? I'd say with a great overclock like on their 7800X model, it's possible, but it may just be playing it too close and will ultimately depend on the price. Let me know what you think in the comments below. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggest a video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.